Hey, I want to take this little corner table or stand that I picked up at a garage sale and I want to pour a two-part epoxy on it. It's already set up with a little bit of a lip here so I thought it'd be a good thing to try it out on and maybe I'll end up using that for like flashlight reviews and stuff. What I'm going to do is cut up a DVD and I'm going to put that on little pieces of it. Set it in there when I pour the epoxy and we're going to see what the outcome is. So we're going to go ahead and get started here and see how this comes out. I'm going to be using the Clearcast 7000 resin. I think I got this on Amazon. Two part epoxy, equal parts. What I do believe I'm going to do is put a real fine coat down first, and then I'm going to set these on, on there. And while I'm at it, I'm probably going to be putting this on there too. All right, I got a part B and a part A, equal amounts mixed. What I'll initially do is pour one into the other cup, and then mix for actually quite a long time. Now once I got it thoroughly mixed up for probably five minutes, I'm gonna pour it into another cup that I haven't used. Mix this a little bit again. I said all I want is enough on here so I can stick these up on it. So let's uh, hope for the best here. I'll smear it around probably. Alright, I got them all on there. What I'm going to do is tamp them down here. Make sure I can hopefully get the air bubbles out from under it. Wiggle them around a little. I'm going to let that harden. You can see that one's on top, the other one. Then I'm going to put the top coat on. Let that harden and we'll put the rest on. Alright, what I do believe I'm going to do here is this takes 24 hours to dry that Clearcast 7000 and right now it's a little bit tacky hard. I'm going to put one more cup on tonight and tomorrow put a third one on. Do it in probably three stages, maybe four, but we're going to go with three for now. I'm going to put another one on tonight. It's looking pretty good. I think once that gets over the top of these broken discs, the clear coat, it'll make them shine even more. So I'm going to mix up one more and pour it on. All right, I got literally 12 ounce cup full one mixed up. We're going to pour that on there. Now I'm going to attempt to smooth some areas. For those of you who don't know, heating it up a little bit removes the bubbles. We're going to put that third coat on in about 16 hours. Alright, it's the next day that second batch is that I put on is dry. And it doesn't look too bad. Now, I got a third one mixed up here, and it should be enough. I think that's about a 12 ounce cup. So we're going to see what happens. It's a little thin up here. Might end up putting one more on. I don't know. We're going to find out. Don't touch this for a day. Is that going to be a desk? Huh? Is that going to be a table? Yeah. That you're going to use? Yeah. When you're done with that, um, can you replay the door and my thing? Yeah. Okay, but first I need to get my shoes back on and my short shirt. I'm going to touch these edges up a tiny bit and I think that's going to be enough. I don't need to put more on. It's almost going to put another cup on, but it be wasted and if I do. I will let her sit after I blow the bubbles out. See what it's like.
All right, got it completely done. I think it come out pretty good. Got your natural colors of the rainbow diffraction in there. That dark wood offsets the broken up uh, CD-ROMs. Pretty neat. Make a nice review table. Now one thing, uh, if I had it to do again, I would make sure the bubbles are out. Use more lighting to see if your bubbles are out. There's a couple spots where I can see some bubbles to heat it up. And when I use that glitter in there just uh, DVDs but all in all I'm impressed you make a nice review table there you are two-part epoxy tabletop till the next time